Hi everyone, my name is Costa, and today I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of scroll transform in Framer. So, I have a section, then a container, then a text wrapper, and now I have a stack here. Next, I will create a grid. Make sure that the width is relative, 100%. Then create two more shapes. Let's make this grid taller. Go to columns and type in four. Now select this grid right here and put the columns spam to two. Then this one, put the row spam to two as well. Select all of them, add a radius of 16 pixels, then select the grid make sure that the overflow is visible also the stack as well the overflow should be visible the container needs to have an overflow which is invisible and the section as well so next i'm gonna select each shape and add an image all right so select the container go to scroll section and type in container or maybe scroll. Next, select the images, go to effects, click on scroll transform, then select section in view, select the scroll section that we just created, click on from, and increase the opacity to one. Now, select each image individually, click on from again, and move it outside the container by typing minus uh, 200 for the offset. Also, let's rotate it like this. Do the same with the other images as well. All right, now select the grid and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select all the images inside and change from image to solid color and add a lighter gray. So next, change the position from relative to absolute. Now go to Z index and type in zero. Select the first grid, go to styles and click on Z-Index 1. Let's preview it. And voila guys, now let's check if it's responsive. So it's totally responsive as well. Obviously you can change this on mobile to look different if you want to. But yeah, so that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.